Hello guys and welcome to new video. Today we will install resizable bar for NVIDIA. If you didn't know what it is, it is a new technology from NVIDIA that enables in short CPU to communicate directly with the GPU and to use all the memory from GPU for CPU. So not only the catch that is has CPU but also the memory from the graphics card. To do it we'll have to uh, first have a CPU that supports it that's a Ryzen 5000 series processor. You have to have a new motherboard that supports it and also an RTX 3000 series graphics card that also supports it. Beware, if you install this, it's a new technology. It's not completely tested, it can work in some cases. And when it works, it works perfectly, as you will see in our example. And when it don't work, the game doesn't want even to start. This is for you that like to live on the edge and see something new and interesting on your PC. Before we do start, it is very important that you follow every step that I'll give you and I hope this will work for you. So let's go to our PC and see what we can do. So first we have to go to NVIDIA. I will have the link in the description. Read everything. Here are the processors that are supported the latest uh, AMD and Intel processors also you have to download the latest drivers and these are the games that are currently have benefit from these new technologies also you will have to download a VBIOS update for your graphics card and here is the links and list of your GPU cards now let's go to the drivers or, or BIOS for motherboard. Mine is uh, ASUS and I will download the latest. Here says what and where we should download it. Now let's download it, save to our computer. And extract to USB. Okay, we're done, we'll close this. Here it is, the file on the USB. We go to the Downloads, BIOS, and View Results. Then we will have to download the BIOS for my graphics card for the NVIDIA Resizable Bar. Save it somewhere where you can access it. And extract the content to the new folder that you make. I made named mine VPOs and extract it. Close the folder. Now we have to update our, our graphics card drivers to the latest version. You can use XPEX installation, it is faster. Now we have to check and here says resizable bar no. Now we will restart the computer. And we will go to the BIOS. Come. Ah, there we are. Now we have to go to tools. Obviously, I can only show you for my motherboard BIOS update, but you can look on the internet or website how to do yours. So we will do go to the Asus Flash Utility and click install. Do you want to read this file? Yes. Really want to update? Yes. And now we are updating. Do not shut down your computer while the update is in progress. And when it's finished we will continue. BIOS update is installed. The latest drivers are installed. Now let's decide VBIOS for Zotac gaming GeForce RTX graphics card. If you have another graphics card, you have to go to your manufacturer and download the same file. Do you want to continue? Yes. And it is almost done. Press any key to exit. So, the last thing you have to do is restart our PC 
now that we have everything installed let's go to the advanced then PCI subsystem settings above 4G decoding enable and then resize bar support on auto we are done save changes and restart now let's check again resizable bar yes so here is the result before and ba -ba 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 -ba, result after a zero because it doesn't support it red red redemption has huge benefits before i had 60 fps now it's 75 sometimes even dipping over and assassin's creed valhalla well it doesn't start at all we have installed everything as you have seen sometimes it does work and sometimes it doesn't work but when it does it gives around 5 to 15 percent boost to your frame and that's really huge thing this new nvidia resizable bar technology is very useful and it will become even more useful now it's limited and it's a new so some games won't work but with the new drivers and new updates it will be better be aware after you enable this resizable bar in the bios if your windows doesn't boot that means you have installed your windows on cms partition and you have to turn it to mbr partition i will leave the link in the description to the tutorial how you can do it it's very simple just follow a few steps read the tutorials and follow the extractions and i hope it will work everything for you please write me down in comments how does it work for you do you have games that run better on this and do you have some games that don't want to start up like my assassin's creed valhalla thank you for one more for watching and until next time see ya